Don't touch me like that. So impatient. Well, hello everybody. Welcome up into the den for a, a quick look at something uh, somewhat garden related. I am going to finally get around to transplanting our very touchy and uh, aggressive aloe vera plant. And I thought I'd do that on camera because I've kind of seen a few of these videos and it looks like there's not a lot of roots to these. So I really want to check it out. And we're going to transfer it to this chamber pot sort of thing that I found because the general recommendation has been to keep it kind of shallow but let it be wide because I want my aloe vera plant to throw out pups so that I can have as many of them around the house as I do with these spider plants that are everywhere and also in desperate need of a transplanting. So yes that's that's about where we're at today. So let's get started looking at well the roots in the aloe. Mash, mash. Well, actually, no, let's start by pulling those spider plants out of the chamber pot. I don't know that it's a chamber pot, I just suspect it's a chamber pot. But they're very sturdy and I can afford to lose two of them anyway, so yes, we'll start with that. Pen camera down. So I figure I'm just going to do this in a cardboard box here. Makes it a little more awkward, but it controls a lot more of my mess. And as most of you folks know, messy is one of the things that I do best. But because the mess is controlled, I can also just be a little more savage about this. Come on, shake it out. So much for the shake it off theory. Come on. Try it this way. Oof da. All right. Now those plants had not been in there terribly long. But it looks like they already had some fun with roots. Let's take a look at that. That's not bad. I don't want to mess with those too much. So, I do have a larger planter. I was kind of thinking about maybe just putting them in there. So I think that is exactly what I'll do. I've got some potting soil kicking around. And we will plant that up a little bit later and maybe even rescue a few more spider plants out of some of those solo cups because Lord knows there are plenty of them in there. Now, doo -doo -doo, out of the terracotta, which is too bad because I was enjoying that for the weight. All right, so in theory, there shouldn't be too much root mass in here although there is quite a bit maybe those videos I saw their roots had been previously I don't know trimmed up a lot of people like to trim their roots on their plants I'm guessing I should probably spread this out a little bit because I know when I did let's change the angle a little bit more here up oh. hopefully you can see that a bit better when I did the uh, spider plant transplanting video, I was advised I really should have paid a lot more attention to the roots and let the old soil out so they could kind of go into new soil. And I do try to uh, listen to the awesome advice you guys give me. And really, it's that advice that's allowed me to get as far with my gardening as I have. I mean, I look up some stuff too, obviously. Um, YouTube, not just a creator, I'm also a viewer. But, yes, most of the really useful stuff I've gotten has been from y'all in the comments. Okay. I don't know how much more I really need to do to that, but some very, very sandy soil coming out of here. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like a proper cactus mix. So, it's going to get some, some potting soil and uh, whatever is left of that. Put that aside for now. Nice and dry though, so that makes this a little bit easier. I'll just kind of put that pretty much right in the middle. And I was thinking, because this is a medicinal plant and I'm trying to work with polycultures and stuff that I might just put some of those oregano 
cuttings from the arrow garden into this. Since they have rooted now as well, so maybe I'll just grab one of those before I get too much farther into this. All right, you know what else I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna take off some of these lower leaves and let them callus up for a few days. Ooh, that one full on broke. I was hoping to pull it off with a little bit of the white that attaches it to the stem there. That is some nice juicy aloe plant though. All right, once again, pretty much broke off, but a little bit of the white there. So, one more? What do you think? Third time's a charm. And then I'll just leave this plant alone for a while. Come on. Doesn't necessarily just want to come off of there, does it? Oh, and another gooey one. But I've seen a lot of videos where they'll just like cut it straight off and that will work for cuttings as well. So I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful, you know me. Ignorantly hopeful I go through life. So we're gonna top this up. And I grabbed three of those rooted oregano cuttings. Out of the eight that I put into that arrow garden to root up, Two of them died off right away because for some reason their pods never really took on the moisture. So that's definitely a vote for pre-soak your arrow garden pods if you're doing cuttings. But all of the other six did a fantastic job of producing roots. And I'll show you a couple of those in a second here. Really should have... Um, pre-moistened this soil too. Wow, this is incredibly dry stuff. But I'm going to be up here for the next little while, so I can water this in a few times. All right, just found one of my gardening spoons in that uh, bag of soil. Gotta like that. From lost to found. Now, hopefully that's not too deep. Here we've got deep, 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 whoop. one of the little pods here. Hopefully you can see those roots coming out from our little oregano. I wanted to grab it before those roots got to be too long because I have noticed if you let plants get well established in that arrow garden, hmm, deeper hole, I guess. Anyway, if you let plants get well established in the arrow garden, getting those roots apart can be kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm trying to pull them out a little bit earlier now once I know you know they're well established again we've got some nice roots coming out on this but they're not huge. So I'm just gonna I don't know, add her about a third here. Very rough, very rough. Our, oh, and that scratching sound, that's got to be great on the camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, got to admit, though, this oregano smells really, really good. So we're just going to stuff that in there as well. And I think I might soak this before I add a little bit. No, what the heck, I'll just finish it off. I'm going to put the rest of my soil on there. Soak that and call her done. Normally I would like to have drainage in place for both of these varieties of plants, but it is what it is. All right, so aloe and oregano in what I still think is a chamber pot. We'll see how those oregano's do. I need to get some water into this. So this soil's been dry for a really long time. I'm guessing it's 
not going to take this up too well, but I've been wrong before. I'm okay with being wrong again, you know, consistency and all that. But I know it's got room to take this whole jug in there for sure. Because that was just bone dry. Hopefully, both the oregano and the aloe will do quite well. I really have no idea if this is a good idea, a bad idea, or what. That's how I garden for the most part, though. You know, I intend to go about farming a little differently, because that's a lot more of an investment, right? But <clears throat> even with that, I really don't mind if I fail from time to time. It's not that big of a deal. When I fail, I learn. It is what it is. Okay. This is actually doing a pretty good job of taking that in. Leave that under the light and hopefully there. Looks a little better. Hopefully it will grow and be nice and happy. And yes, put out some pups for me. That would be fantastic. So I guess that leaves me finishing up with this spider plant here. I had got this planter for my little pepper collection, but you know, gorgeous house plants are gorgeous house plants. I don't want to be accused of being like plantist or anything. And getting one of these gorgeous spider plants out of those little solo cups, really not a bad thing. Making them all fit in there, on the other hand, seems to be a bit of a trick. Well, I kind of got room for one more. Not really, but sort of, kind of. So, let's see. Oh, got one over here. See how that looks. Come on out there. Oh! I am going to need to cut the bottom off of that. Look at that, eh? I want to do this without hurting the roots too bad. Guess this cup's a right off though. Thought I went all the way around. I guess I only went three quarters. All right, so most of that went through two of the little holes in the bottom. Hopefully I can pull this up and out now. Oh, we're good. We're good. A little bit of a mess there, but that's what vacuums are for. All right, speaking of four. Four spider plants in the planter. Mwah, ha, ha. Yes, I loved the Count, it's true. The Count was one of my favorite characters. All right, now, some of those were really wet, so I guess that'll help balance out the fact that this potting soil is really dry. Probably should have done this in my handy dandy planting box, but too late now. Beautiful little planter now. And it is truly amazing how many of these gorgeous spider plants I have around the house from the very few that Shocks brought home all those years ago. But they are good stubborn and survivalist kind of plants. They're good hardy plants. They like a little abuse. They certainly take abuse better than pepper plants do. So. I think that's part of why they're up here right now, too. Inspiration! Let this be a lesson to you peppers. Toughen up. Rawr! And stuff. Alright. I 
and even with as wet as some of that was I think it's still gonna give this pretty deep water in but it's got a nice little tray at the bottom so we'll just let that soak from the bottom up as compared to soaking it from the top down although there is a bit of a mess under there so we'll just Chuck that back in the bag like it never happened. Do 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 do. All right. That's that's kind of nice. Let's take off some of these leaves that got a little more roughed up in it all. And I probably should have fluffed up the roots on these a little bit more, as I was saying at the beginning of this video about. Uh, Having been reminded that I should have been fluffing up the leaves on the spider plants here, I went and did another spider plant without being nice to the roots, but yeah, <clears throat> I'm being nicer to it than I expected anyway. I'm giving it pepper pot. This is supposed to be growing something edible, so you have no idea how lucky you are, little spider plants. Well, <laughs> maybe the two that just got out of the solo cups do. That's going to need a lot more water. So yeah, I guess that's me for the next couple hours. I'm up here checking on a couple of planters, making sure everything settles in and grows good. It's nice and healthy and stuff as I sit here and fiddle with the spider plant already. So yeah, that's about it. Um, really happy to see that those oregano cuttings rooted so well in the arrow garden. And thinking about maybe getting one of those uh, arrow garden seed kits so we can kind of track it from putting it in and starting it up to just seeing how these things do as full-grown plants because much like Punky I have my questions about how they will do with full-grown plants but they're certainly doing great for seed starting season and I think I've got enough time between now and pepper starting season that uh, yeah I can fiddle about with maybe a couple of tomato plants or whatever kit strikes my eye next time I'm farting around on Amazon so yeah, if you're still with me, thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. Sundays in the garden, you know, playing in the den. Transplanting the arrow, the, the, the arrow. Transplanting the aloe, the oregano, and a bunch of spider plants. All right. I think I need uh, some coffee so I can get that downstairs, and then I'll come back and rewater these plants. All right. Take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.